Hi everyone, my name is Alejandra. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite formulas in Google Sheets, the Ray formula. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing. So, let's get started. Here I have my table with the type of cooking, price and units. What I want to do is to multiply the price by the unit and I'm going to present uh, different scenarios here. I'm going to start by equal price times units, enter. Google is suggesting the autofill, which works. I click check mark, enter. I have a total of 21 items, 21 formulas. In this case, I want to present how we can apply the array formula and I start in column E, row 3, equal array formula, open parenthesis, and I, I want to say that my array formula will be B3 and everything that is included in column B times column C. So C3 and everything that is included below C3. I, I'm missing one parenthesis here, close parenthesis for the array formula. So what I'm saying here, I want to time any information that is in column B starting in row 3 times column C and is this the information that it starts in row 3. So it's very important that both columns start at the same point. Enter and you can see now that the array formula work for all the data that I have in columns B and C starting in row 3. So the formula lives in only one cell. Anything else below the formula looks like it's a hard-coded number. However, if you try to delete it, it won't work. So I press delete and nothing happens because this number is coming as a result of the formula in E3. Now, the, the issue here is that it's bringing all the zeros below, right? If you have only a specific range of um, rows, these zeros wouldn't come, but because we are asking for the whole column, then the zeros will show below because it's multiplying zero times zero equals zero. What I want to bring is the information without the zeros. A way to fix this is by using the filter formula. If you are not familiar with this formula, I recommend that you watch one of my previous videos that explains how this formula works. I will include the link to this video uh, in the notes below. I will start by equal filter. The result from my array formula will be my range. Then my condition one will be that the result of this array formula must not equal zero. Close parenthesis for the filter, enter. I don't want the autofill, but you can see that the filter is returning any number that doesn't equal zero. The array formula is very powerful. You can use it in this case to multiply the price by the unit, but you can also use this uh, array formula just by adding $10 to the results in column D, for example, right? So I can say equal array formula, and I will say 10 plus, and then I can just select the range right? Close parenthesis, enter, and now you can see that each line has been added $10. Now I'm going to show you if I add an item to this list, for example, I want to add other, and I'm going to say that the unit price is $3 and the units are 10 you can see that our array formula works. So you can see in here, it didn't bring the $30 plus 10, that would be $40, because it's out of the range that I specified. Also, you will notice that column D didn't calculate the $30 because I didn't copy the formula above, right? I wish Google Sheets could have 
like in Excel, is that we can recognize where the formula is active and which items are part of that result from that formula. Because here, it, this looks like a hard-coded number. So I try to delete it. I cannot delete it. But if I type something on top of it, let's say 12, then all my formula errors out. I'm going to undo this by pressing Ctrl Z. It would be very nice to have something like an Excel. I have an, a dynamic array. The formula is active in cell H4. You can see it in here. If I go to other row within that array, the formula is grayed out. So I can see that these items are part of the array. Also, you notice that there is a blue border around. This is indicating the area that this formula is being part of. So starting at H4 to M12. So this is part of the array. And I, I know that because I can see this blue border. If I move out of these results, you don't see that border anymore. So it would be very nice if Google Sheets could come with something like that. What I have noticed that some people do, they color the where the where the formula is, and sometimes they put a lighter color be, below that, so just to indicate that those are the results from from the from that formula. It could be up to you uh, how you want to identify it. Honestly, I really find that a little bit uh, challenging. If you don't indicate that, it's, it's hard to say where the formula is coming from, especially when you are working with horizontal and vertical results. So here in this example, it's easy because we know that we are uh, working on row three, but when you are working with uh, more data and you work with different layouts, it's a little bit harder. So another thing that uh, you need to be careful, as I mentioned, in this case, we are saying that we want the information from column B and C. Everything that is in these columns is starting in row three. The problem with that is that if you decide to have some data below that, and I'm gonna just copy for the purpose of this example over here in row 29. So control C, control V. Now I move this information to, to column A, look, what happens, the formula is start doing uh, weird things here. And what it's doing with the filter formula is calculating the information from here, from B to C. So 292 times 3.3 equals 964. 58 times 57 equals 3306. So that is what it's doing. In here, that we don't have the filter formula is bringing an error because we are blocking where the results need to come from the array formula. So, of course, in column G, where we are selecting a specific range, this formula didn't break because it says that the last row to calculate is row 23. So you just need to be very careful with that and just make sure that if you are planning to put information below the list that you're working with, just select the range that you want to include in the array formula. But anything that you put below that range won't be included in that calculation. Just be aware of that. I'm gonna undo all this part that I did here because I want to show you another example. So you can see how powerful these formulas can be. I want to show you how to combine different formulas and how useful the array formula can be. So I'm gonna start by combining the flatten formula. So I'm gonna say equal flatten. And if you are not familiar with this formula, I also have um, a video on how this formula works as well with the split function. I'm gonna also include the, the link to that video in the notes below. So I say equal flatten. And what I'm gonna do, the first range, I'm gonna combine the type of cookies that I have here up to row 23, comma, my second list, will be the type of drinks. Let me move just a little bit over here. In this case, my information is in a horizontal list. 
So the, the good thing about this flattening function, it doesn't matter how the structure of this list is, as long as you select range one, range two, and so on. So uh, you can see the square brackets. That means that from range two and forward, these items are optional to include in the formula. So in this case, I have two ranges and then I close the parentheses and I press enter. I have an issue here because I'm blocking where the results will come out. So I just need to move my table down. You can see now the formula has room to bring all the results. So you can see I have a combination of type of cookies and I have all the type of drinks. Let's say I want to add the year in front of the name of each item. And by doing that, I need to concatenate. So I say equal, open um, double quotation marks, 2021 this year, space, close quotation marks, and concatenate with the results from the flattening formula. Enter. You can see now that it worked only for the first item, but it didn't bring all the other items that you saw before. So here is where the array formula comes to the rescue. Equals array formula. My array is the result from the concatenate plus the flatten. Close parenthesis, enter. Now you can see all the results came with the 2021 included to each item. If you don't like this layout and you prefer to have a horizontal list, you can combine this formula with the transpose formula. So let's say I want it here. And I'm going to say equal, transpose, paste my array formula, close parenthesis for the transpose, enter. And there you go. You have all the items on a horizontal layout. I am a big fan of this uh, array formula, so hopefully you can use it in your day-to-day -day work. I hope you found that helpful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share with family, friends, and co-workers. See you next time. Bye-bye.